Find the limit if it exists. If it does not exist, explain why. Solution. So if you plug in negative 6 right away, you see that it fails because you get 0 on the bottom. So maybe the first thing we can do is maybe the obvious thing, which is factor out a 2 from the numerator. So 2 parentheses x plus 6 over the absolute value of x plus 6. Okay, so in order to do this problem, you have to know what the definition of absolute value is. So recall that the absolute value of x is equal to the following piecewise function. So it's x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's minus x if x is less than 0. In this problem, we have the absolute value of x plus 6. So I'm just going to replace the above with x plus 6. So it's a piecewise function and it's x plus 6, and that's going to be true if x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 0, which means x is bigger than negative 6. And it's negative x plus 6, and that's going to be true if x plus 6 is less than 0. Right, I'm just replacing all of the x's up here in this definition with x plus 6. That's the same as saying x is less than negative 6. Okay, so in order to work this out, we have to approach from the left and from the right. So first let's approach from the left. That's the only way we'll be able to use the absolute value. So if you approach from the left, up top we still have 2x plus 6. And now we should be able to drop the absolute value. So here's negative 6 on a number line. And then we're approaching from the left, so x is over here. So x is less than negative 6. So if x is less than negative 6, we're using this piece over here on the right. So negative x plus 6. So on the bottom we have negative x plus 6. These cancel, so we get the limit. We still have to write limit. As x approaches negative 6 from the left of negative 2, right? Because there's a negative down here. And that's equal to negative 2. So again, Whenever you have an absolute value, you want to use one-sided limits. So you first start by rewriting your absolute value in your problem, and then you take the limit from the left, as we did here. Now we're going to take the limit from the right. If the limits are the same, then that's going to be the limit, and we'll say the limit exists, and it's equal to that number. If the limits are different, then we know the limit does not exist. So 2x plus 6. Absolute values take some work to work with. So negative 6, let me draw a number line, here's negative 6. And now we're approaching from the right, so x is on the right. That means x is bigger than negative 6. So now we're using this piece up here. So our absolute value is just x plus 6. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches negative 6 from the right, and that's 2. And now you can drop the limit sign, and that's equal to 2. So when you take the limit from the left, you get negative 2. When you take the limit from the right, you get 2. So therefore, the limit does not exist. So the answer in this case is DNE. I hope that made sense.